Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the strength and courage in you to accomplish your big dreams and goals in your sport. No longer will you feel limited. You won't feel you're not good enough. You won't question whether you will make it. Those doubts will disappear because you will have the competitive edge over your opponents and leave them in your wake. And the bonus is others will notice. Listen up and take notes because I will show you exactly how to do it. Hey there, Tiff here and welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we're doing today through these Gain the Mental Edge series, we're actually going to be working on mindset development and this is actually your standard of excellence. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to craft what your standard of excellence is. So how you expect to uh, be, how you expect to operate uh, for you to uh, reach your potential, but also set a standard. So you, this standard that you actually set is actually the level in which you feel that you must operate at to not only become the athlete that you want to become, not only to become the person that you want to become, but also to set up rules for yourself in in the sense of uh, discipline, how you and what you need to do on a daily basis and so forth. But I'm not going to share too much with with it right now for you because I want you to actually listen to the content that was recorded from you. So as you're well aware, These uh, Gain the Mental Edge series is from the Get Focused Academy and what I have here in store for you is the audio content from that specific video and if you just listen, continue to listen, you'll hear it through this episode and if you want to see the video and also get the worksheet for free, so that means you don't have to put your name or email or anything in it, you just get it totally for free. You just want to go to my website, tiffany-mica.com, and then you'll go down and you'll have a look at the Tiffany Mica podcast show, and it will be in there. So let's get into it. Uh, Make sure you listen. Make sure you do the work. Make sure you go to the website and actually do the worksheet. Really important for you to craft your standard of excellence. I look forward to seeing you there. Dream big. Believe in you. Go after your dreams. Hey there, Tiff here. Well, here we are, we're in part two of mindset development. So what we're going to be doing in this part is we're actually going to work on your standard of excellence. And what that actually means to you is really it's creating a standard in which you expect yourself to operate. So it's something very simple to do. It's a nice, quick, easy session for you today uh, because I want you to really get right into crafting your standard of excellence and um, yeah getting on with it so follow the the slides and so on I'm about to show you on how you can craft your standard of excellence and I look forward to hearing what you come up with so dream big believe in you go after your dreams hey there Tiff here well here we are part two mindset development so let's just get straight into it What is mindset development? Well, what we're doing here is we're working on developing your mindset into becoming the athlete who you want to become. So how we do that is we are establishing your standards. And standards is defined by a level of quality or attainment. So how do we do that? Well, what we do is we're going to define your standard of excellence and however you are currently operating and what you have discovered in the baseline reality check, we're now going to springboard you into crafting your standards of how you expect to operate. So whatever your current standard level is, 
we are now going to improve that. And this will be how you expect yourself to operate. It's like you're never going to operate below this standard. So it's a good way to think of it this way. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing a line in the sand. And we'll say, well, you know what? I am no longer going to operate in this manner. This is what I know and expect from myself. So what we're doing here is we're going to be lifting your standard. And and years ago, I heard Tony Robbins talking about you setting a standard that is not, not just a good standard of how you operate. It's really a standard of excellence in this is really what you've got to set for yourself and this will be from and this will be what you expect from yourself from really this moment forward and by doing this we are showing you that you can continue to develop yourself into the standard of excellence and this will be an ongoing thing that you'll be working on throughout your sports career and your life, especially to become the person and the athlete that you want to become. So if you've ever heard my podcast show, you may have heard an episode in which I recorded Lessons Learned, and I was talking about it's not the destination, it's the journey. And what I talked about in that episode was how it will be a series of skills that will help you get to the destination you are heading towards. But once you get to that destination, it will be the next series of skills that will get you to the next destination. So I want you to keep that in in your mind as you're going through this journey of accomplishing your big dreams in your sport. Remember, it's always about the destination. It's never about the destination. It's always about the journey, the set of skills that you're going to learn along the way because like I've just said to you it'll be the series of skills that will help you get to the destination and then from that destination to get to the next destination it'll be another series of skills that you will learn along the way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be developing your standard of excellence and what you craft here in your standard of excellence will be the standards in which you expect from yourself from this moment forward. But what you'll find in the future as you develop into the athlete and the person that you want to become, you'll actually find that your current standard of excellence to that point in time will need upgrading. So we're going to be establishing your standard of excellence and how we're going to do that, I'm just going to show you what mine currently is. But I will tell you, after reading through it and sharing it with you today, mine <laughs> mine needs an upgrade as well. But I'm going to share with you up until this point what I've been using as my standard of excellence. I wake up 4 a.m. every morning during the week, earlier if I want to. I go to bed at 8 p.m. and read before going to sleep, have plenty of rest. I do my daily life focus routine every morning during the week to set me up for success. I do my daily life reflection routine each afternoon when I finish my work. I meditate for seven minutes every morning during the week. I visualize my future self for 10 minutes every morning during the week. I have a protein shake every morning for breakfast. I have protein for snacks. I eat protein, plant-based proteins, veggies and fruit throughout the day. I stick to my eating plan routine during the week and track my calories. I do two full cleanse days on Wednesday and Thursday. On Sundays, I eat what I enjoy. I plan out my week and my day for working efficiently and effectively. I do my money playbook routine every morning to track my and our money. I don't finish my work day until I have achieved my set tasks. I work, think, act and operate as a billion dollar woman, CEO of Me Inc. I must work on my goals every day during the week. I must give myself mental downtime one day per week, Sundays. I must read for 30 minutes each day, scheduling my day reading time. I must train at the gym six times per week. I must achieve my goals because my tribe needs me to set the example. And I must learn something new each day. So as you can see, that was my standard of excellence. And after going through that and sharing that with you, it's time for me to upgrade mine as well because it's brought me to a certain point. 
So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating and crafting your standard of excellence in which you expect yourself to operate. So as you can see in here, what I was sharing with you is my mode of operation, what I expect from myself uh, to set myself up for success each day, how I visualize my future, what food or fuel I should be putting into my body, how I should be planning out my week effectively, tracking my money and working on how to build my empire. There's a lot of different things in, in which I expect myself to operate. And that's what I want you to be thinking about is how do you expect yourself to operate in this? So that's why I want you to be focusing on crafting your standard of excellence. Don't copy mine. You can use some of the things out of mine, but I want it to be unique and specific to you. So again, this is part of your philosophy. So this mindset development that we're focusing on is we're really crafting your philosophy, your view on the world of how you expect yourself to operate. So the first thing that we want to be doing here is we want to be establishing your standard of excellence. So you saw my standard of excellence and what I want you to do is I want you to craft that and write out what your standard of excellence is. Below there'll be a worksheet for you to go through, which I'll show you what it is very shortly, but uh, I just want you to be aware of this is what the next step is. Below this video, there should be a button. You just click on that button and then that'll take you through to the worksheet for your standard of excellence. And number two, what we want to be doing here is then you record your standard of excellence. And the reason that I want you to do that, just like I'm getting you to do in this mindset development area, because we're crafting your philosophy, is that I want you to be recording it and, and, and listening to it each day because it is getting into your subconscious. It doesn't You don't have to listen to every word. Your subconscious mind will pick it up for you. But what we want to be doing is that repetition of reminding your subconscious mind of how you expect yourself to operate because you will find that over time you'll just automatically be operating at that standard because you've been feeding your mind, right? Like when you feed your body with the right fuel and it operates at a much higher level. The same here, what we're doing is we're fueling your mind with with the good stuff, right? The good stuff that we want to be growing and enhancing you to becoming the person and the athlete that you want to become. So by you feeding your mind each day and listening to this helps you create the standard of excellence in which you are going to expect yourself to operate. So here's the standard of excellence worksheet. Now, what I want you to be doing here, just like I explained in the slide area, was that we're going to be crafting your standard of excellence. So as you can see, I'll scroll down. Now, I've just put all mine in there just to help trigger you and make you think about how you want to operate uh, so that you're you know, really working on your standard. So it's, again, it's just to trigger you. So we're all going to be different. We're all going to put different things in there. This daily life focus and daily life reflection that's in there, I'm going to teach you that uh, later on through this mindset development area because it's going to help you really set up your day for success and really focus on what needs to be done, what the most important things need to be done, what sort of trigger words that you'll need to help you throughout the day and also to look back at the day at the end of the day through daily life reflection and and evaluate what's actually happened so you can keep track of where you're headed. Okay, so step one here is to craft your standard of excellence. So below my examples here, there's your standard of excellence. So what I want you to do is then go through that and use as much as you want. There's no limit on how many words you can put it there. It's just to ensure that you are working on the detail of what you expect of yourself from this point forward. Okay. Remember we've drawn that line in the sand. We're going to operate in a different way from this point forward. So we want to make sure that we're listing out exactly what we expect from ourselves. Then step two, yep, what you're going to do is you're just going to record your standard of excellence. So like what you had to do 
previously, you were recording your uh, athlete mindset profile and I said to you to record that, add some music to that. We're going to do the same with the standard of excellence because what we're doing is we're constantly fueling your mind. We're listening to it each day. We're adding some cool music to it and we're reminding ourselves constantly of what we expect from ourselves. So let's get on with it. Let's craft your standard of excellence. Let's go and record it. And then I want you to start listening to it each day. So I want you to dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams, have an awesome day. Talk soon. More than ever, we need hope. More than ever, we need to believe that everything is going to be okay. The world is a mirror of what you see. And if you don't like what you see, then it's time to change your world. The first step is to believe in you. Believe that you can be anything and believe that you can do anything. And that's why I've written the book Focus, How to Reach a Potential in Sport, Business and Life. It's to show you are worthy, that you can trust you and reach your potential. Get a free copy of Focus, How to Reach a Potential in Sport, Business and Life. All you need to do is go to tiffanymica.com forward slash free book. All I ask is that you pay for the shipping and handling. I look forward to seeing you there. Dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams.